always a rainbow within reach on animal song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lovely. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is over at Sunshine Farm. Come on, let's join them. What's this big box of dirt for, pig? I'm using it to plant vegetables. You just used the letter of the day. The letter V. V makes the sound V in vegetables. Listen. V, V, vegetables. V, V, vegetables. Now you try. V, V, vegetables. Wonderful. <laughs> What kind of vegetables? Vegetables. Um. Vegetables. Thanks. What kind of vegetables are you planting, pig? Over here, I'm planting corn. Over here, I'm planting pumpkins. And over here, I'm planting carrots. Can we help? Sure. I need help digging holes for the seeds. Digging. I love helping. <laughs> Me too, Hedgehog. Hey, Pig, how does this hole look? That's very good, Monkey. Pig, you use the letter of the day again. <laughs> very good. I dug a very good hole for very good vegetables. <laughs> when do we plant the vegetable seeds, Pig? After we're finished digging all of the holes. In the meantime, here are more things that begin with V. Violin. <laughs> Violin. <laughs> Volcano. <laughs> Volcano. <laughs> Vest. <laughs> Vest. Vase. Vase. Vegetable. 
vegetables. <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> What letter do all these words start with? V. That's right. The letter V. Hey, everybody! Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you too. Let's all play. The alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah. What's this letter? K. What's this letter? V. What's this letter? W. What's this letter? Y. Now let's do it fast. W. Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game when you see a letter. You say its name. Woo! The letter B. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter V. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Let's make letters in the sky with clouds. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Hedgehog, show us how. Okay. Great! I'll trace the next one. Hmm. V. Terrific tracing. Now let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try next. V. Oh. Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> v. Ooh. You did it. Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? V. Exactly. Uppercase V. And what's this letter? V. That's right. Lowercase V. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called The Bubble Mystery. I wonder what the mystery is. Let's find out. Let's begin. The Bubble Mystery. Written by Marari Jha, illustrated by Suvita Mystery. Toot Toot was very happy. She was going to the pond for the first time. Bath time! At first, Toot Toot was scared of the water, but when she saw all the other goats splashing around, she jumped in. Everyone laughed. Everyone splashed. 
Everyone played and played. Toot Toot soon found bubbles all around her. They were going blop, blop, blop. She was a little afraid. But she soon got over it. Toot Toot began to jump, dance, and twirl through the bubbles. After that fun day, Toot Toot began to wonder, How are bubbles made? She asked her dad. Daddy said he didn't know. Toot Toot asked her mom. Mama said she didn't know either. So Toot Toot decided to solve the bubble mystery all by herself. She flapped her tail in the water. She blew into the water with all her might. But she didn't make a bubble. One day, Toot Toot's tummy was hurting. She wondered what to do. She decided to bathe in the pond's cool water. There was a deep rumbling in her tummy. Suddenly, gas escaped from Toot Toot. As the gas shot through the water, bubbles popped up to the water's surface. Blop, blop, blop. Finally, Toot Toot had solved the bubble mystery. Now, whenever it's bath day, Toot Toot makes the most magnificent bubbles of all. After her first bath day, Toot Toot's sister asked her how bubbles were made. And what did Toot Toot say? She told her sister she didn't know. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a song called This Old Man. I'll sing the first verse and then you can join in. Are you ready? Yay! Yeah, 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 ready. Let's do it! This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Oh dear, what number comes after one? Two! You're right. Let's all sing. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe with, with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Fantastic! And what number comes after two? Fox? Three! That's right! Here we go! This old man, he played three! He played knick-knack on my knee With, with a knick-knack paddywhack in the dog a bone This old man came rolling home Great singing, everyone! Hmm, now what number is after three? Four! Yes, here we go. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with, with a knick-knack paddywhack in the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Let's do one more. Now let's see, what number comes after four? Five! Oh, of course. Let's sing. This old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive With a knick-knack paddywhack in the dog a bone This old man came rolling home Thank you for helping me with my numbers today Oh, Mr. Frog, you know your numbers Well then, thanks for helping me sing See you next time, everybody Goodbye Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Frog. Frog Here's something we already did Let's do it again Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. 
We're not going to paint with paintbrushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... <gasps> we clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. It's time to move. Follow me. Now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Sport and